Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just putting up a video today. Uh, mostly it's a thank you video. It's a thank you to Chris at Taylor Made Knives. Uh, Chris made me a knife. Um, and it came in the mail the other day. It's this little guy right here. It's called the Backyard Skinner, which I think is cool um, for obvious reasons. But uh, it came out perfect. Uh, I, I love it. It fits my hand very nicely. Um, it's tool steel, so it's incredibly sharp, uh, like stupid sharp. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of sharp knives in my life, but this one, um, it's got an edge on it and a half. So, anyway, uh, like I said, yeah, it's really, really uh, some amazing stuff that he's putting out. Go check it out, give him a sub, um, and I think you'll like what you see. Uh, one other thing on this, too, uh, I, I've never had a, a knife made for me. Uh, I, don't, I think the most expensive knife that I've ever purchased is probably under $30, but... Uh, this was really reasonable. I was I was surprised at uh, you know what what Chris charged me for this. It was it was plenty fair for sure. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a little closer look at it, and we'll go from there. Okay, so a little closer look at it. Uh, you know, it's not a huge knife, but it's exactly what I uh, was looking for. I. Uh, I'm not a knife guy at all. Uh, I contacted Chris and said, hey, this is what I want to do. I skin a lot of small game, um, or I'm hoping to skin more this year for, for trapping season. I want something that I'm not sharpening all the time. I actually resorted to just using X-Acto knives last year because I could keep them sharp and throw away the blades. But anyway, this is what he came up with. It's called the Backyard Skinner. I love it. Uh, Kydex case. Everything's nice and easy to clean. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, go check out his channel. And i got a couple other things to show you here real quick. Okay, sorry, super awesome editing there, but um, anyway, um, go check out his, his, his uh, channel, his knives, and uh, if you can't find it, he's featured on my channel, if you go out to the about, he's, he's there. Uh, one other thing that I kind of wanted to show, um, many of you may have seen this little guy here recently, uh, it's a catch pole, and this is Fossil Swamp's design. Uh, he did a really, really nice video tutorial on how to make one of these. I'm not going to go into too much details of how to do that, but uh, go check out the video if you haven't. You made a good point. You're pretty irresponsible if you're trapping and don't have one of these with you or in the truck or something. But um, the one thing, the only thing I did different is I've added one more, I don't know if you can see that, uh, stop up here so it slid through a little easier. And I did a wood handle because I didn't have a chainsaw pull. Uh, one other thing, too, I had trouble finding this piece, which is a laundry line tensioner. Uh, I went to five hardware stores from everything from Home Depot to the one that's been in my town for probably 200 years and none of them had them. What I ended up doing is I just ordered it online. I think I, I actually bought this on eBay for $3.29 with free shipping. So if you can't find them, just order one. Uh, go watch Boss's how-to on how to make this. I think you'll uh, appreciate having one if you trap. Uh, next thing is something that I came up with. Trapping stakes. I've been struggling with this because I don't weld. So what I came up with is this little guy here. I was going to do a how-to, but I can just show you this. Um, conduit. You cut four little notches in it. Fan them out with the claw of a hammer. And then flatten them down. Um, and what ends up happening uh, is that's just enough if you have a trap. slide through and get to there and they stop. Um, super, super lightweight, super duper inexpensive. I think these end up costing uh, like 28 cents each or something uh, if you buy the stuff bulk. And uh, they take just literally just minutes to make a whole pile of them. Uh, and if you're wondering how they hold in the ground, uh, this is actually how I came up with this idea. Uh, my, my wife, for I guess we have a uh, uh, flower farm as part of what we do for a living. And we use these in a little bit longer versions as all of our corner stakes where we run water lines and stuff just so uh, they don't uh, get torn down by hoses and stuff. And I had to move one the other day and I had to get a fence post puller to get it out of the ground. And it was only in the ground, I don't know, maybe 12, 16 inches. And that's how much it held. So these ones I made about two and a half feet. Uh, I had no worries of them being a solid anchor. If you got harder ground, you don't want to fold dirt, dirt, you could sharpen down the point, close that up. But uh, I made another video on another stake, and what I did is I used 
all thread with some nuts and washers. And they're great too. It's just they're heavy and they're expensive. Uh, I think it's almost five bucks to put one together. So these guys are, like I said, uh, backpack friendly. And that's, I do a lot of my, my trapping actually uh, hiking with a pack. So uh, past that, I wanted to do um, some shout outs. And the reason why I want to do those is, you know, a lot of people do them. But uh, my channel, I don't know, six, eight months ago, I don't think had any subscribers. And, uh, you know, I didn't have very many videos up either. But uh, all it really took was, you know, Gonzo... Uh, Big Land Trapper, Rodney Newberry, th those guys subscribing to my channel, commenting on a few videos. They've given me a couple nice shout outs. Um, and it's really uh, grown my channel. It's up over 200 subscribers now, uh, which is amazing to me that anybody wants to watch anything I'm doing or saying. But uh, nevertheless, uh, much appreciated to those guys. A couple of guys that, uh, one for sure, I keep missing. I don't know why, but Timberline North, uh, another really good channel. And I'm actually going to give him a video shout out too kind of a two-part one um, he, he can make anything it just constantly amazes me what he this stuff super simple uh, because I can't make things um, but uh, go watch he made two video actually made a whole series of them on uh, getting ready for trapping season this season number three and number four uh, I found fascinating because they were I mean he makes uh, some of his own swivels he's making his own dog proof traps um, stuff with way above my pay grade but anyway good guy to check out um, and I really enjoy any time he puts something out. Uh, moving on down past that, um, Wyo Wilderness, or it's abbreviated for Wyoming Wilderness, uh, Ray, uh, at least I'm fairly new to his channel, but um, he's probably doing it right. He's actually going out and telling people about himself uh, before he really gets too far into putting up videos about what he does, which I think is smart, because you, know, you can kind of tell a lot by a person whether you're interested in following them uh, what they're doing and he's definitely one that's an interesting guy and I, I'm actually uh, really really looking forward to trapping season or his trapping season because I think that there's a lot I can learn just from uh, hopefully the stuff he's going to put up. Uh, his son uh, has a site, uh, uh, a channel too, same name but Junior, uh, seems like a good kid. Uh, which kind of brings me to the next little group of guys I'm going to talk about. Uh, it's all younger outdoorsmen and you know there's a lot of kids that put up videos um, you see, you know, quite a few that are scattered all over the board with what they put up. But there's a few that are you know, pretty, you know, centered on outdoor stuff. And I think it's really awesome that these young guys are out there learning, sharing their knowledge. Um, so anyway, the first one I'm going to mention is Oregon Outdoors. Another young man from my state of Oregon. And uh, he's working his tail off right now. He's uh, got a new muzzleloader. He's uh, out scouting for, for deer. He's got game cameras, feed stations. Um, out in the blazing sun out east, uh, ways from where I live, but uh, he, he's definitely uh, putting the time and hours into getting himself a deer this year. Um, another good one, uh, JB Fins and Furs, uh, uh, has been doing some fishing. I know he's out doing some scouting for hunting season right now, too. Um, good solid kid there, too. Uh, Fisherman Guy 44 um, puts up you know a lot of videos and some, some interesting stuff. Um, put a pretty good uh, match with the groundhog the other day, which I found uh, quite entertaining. So, anyway, support those young guys. Uh, give them a sub. You know, they're they're all part of our outdoor community, and I've actually learned quite a bit from guys that are well over half my age. Uh, one last one, ADK, ADK Trapper. I screw that up every time. But, anyway, uh, Garrett, another good channel. He's got a contest going on right now, trying to get to 1,000 subs. Uh, we'll give him one. Uh, he's got a good, you know, like I said, once again, he's outdoor focused and he's good at what he talks about. So, other than that, it's kind of what I got going on. Uh, same stuff I kind of mentioned last time I got coming up. I saw my pig series. Uh, we got a lot of film on that. Uh, about a month away from butchering them. And there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff on those guys. Um, it's fall time. So, yeah, deer season. I've got Tagus open right now. We've got another one that uh, opens up here in two weeks. Go right into waterfowl. A couple uh, weeks after that, and before long, it'll be trapping season. So, anyway, lots to come. Uh, check out all these uh, guys I'm talking about. And uh, Chris, if you're still watching, thanks again, buddy. Love it. Have a good one, guys.